Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I create lighting and compositing setup in Cinema 4D. So guys, firstly, I create some objects. So like sphere and change radius. First one, I take like 50. Go on here and attachment on flow. Right. And copy this pair. And guys, you can increase more segments randomly and copy this pair, copy and again radius this time 70, same, attach on flow and guys, one more time, copy this pair and radius I take like 100 centimeter, same, attach on flow, right and set angle like this and here and guys I take this time like torus and rotate this torus actually go on here and firstly decrease the size like this and rotate right and up so guys go to front view panel and attach yes right okay now guys go to display select god shading lines increase segments increase randomly right okay so guys see this is my simple setup and now I create material for this pair and torus. So guys I go on create and new material open. Guys I take like red right I take red color and reflection and press add key and take reflection legacy and guys go on brightness here color layer color and take texture and use freshness and brightness I take like 50 50 percent and mix strength I take same 50 yeah so guys apply on this pair and this one and second material guys I create black so you can copy this pair this one material copy and change only color I take black color so apply and apply right so, okay see guys my first setup is complete now i create seamless background so guys i take flow this one and second thing i take background yeah and guys i create material for this flow and background so i go to create and load material actually create material and reflection uncheck only select color and guys go on texture and take gradient and click on gradient yes and change guys type I take 2d V yes and also change this color and take this time okay this is better is light gray so guys this is my white and go to made and little bit change this white and take tint gray right and now copy this checker box holding control key drag and drop yes see guys this is my background so close apply on flow and background and compositing tag but guys this is not compose so change material UV select both materials and protection I take frontal right and guys now I apply compositing tag is most important part so select this flow and right click cinema 4d tag and use compositing yes and guys only compositing background check and render preview 
yeah see guys now this is my seamless background right see that's really good yeah nice okay so guys second step i apply hdri image so i take sky and create hdri material so guys i go on create and again new material open and color uncheck reflection uncheck only select luminance and apply hdri image like this one this my hdri image guys you can apply any hdri so open and no yes so close apply on sky yeah but guys see this is again it's not compose and this time guys i take camera and camera check okay so guys again select this sky and apply compositing tag this one and scene by camera uncheck and compositing background check and compositing background for hdri map check yes and render preview yes see guys now i apply two effect this my seamless background and second thing i apply sky this one right see yeah great right okay now this time guys i apply area light you can take any light this is my point light area light it's depend on your work like area and up like this and up and guys change shadow shadow i take soft map shadow and go on shadow here and density i take 50% yes and guys copy this light copy and rotate like minus 90 degree and second light is my top light and also change guys intensity so select light one general and intensity i take 50% and guys you can change this is also intensity like 70 yes and render preview yes right that's really good right yeah okay so guys select this flow it's attached yes okay guys all is good now i go to render setting and take ambi occlusion guys if you want more depth so you can take maximum ray length increase like 200% and accuracy i take 100 and maximum sam take 256 yes and guys go to global illumination and presets use this one exterior as dr image right so close and again render preview guys is take too much time yeah great see guys that's really good render little bit closer and again render setting this time anti select best and again render full See guys my render is finished it's really shiny and glossy effect and create seamless background it's like a studio rig right so close okay so guys my simple tutorial is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this project from my website it's free thank you